Hey, what's up guys? This is going to be a really quick tutorial on how to add a custom shift lock button to your game. And this will be helpful for mobile games where you want to add a shift lock. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit play and our character is going to spawn in and we're going to click the drop down on players and we're going to copy all of the player scripts and we're going to make a fork. And we don't need all of them. We just really need the player module uh, with the camera module here, but it's nice if we just copy all of them. Um, I'm going to go into the mouse lock controller. In the replicated storage, I'm going to add two bindable events. Uh, mouse lock changed. And toggle mouse lock. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop into the camera module or the mouse lock controller module. I'm going to scroll down. I'm actually going to add these events. So I need the replicated storage. And I'm going to add these events. All right, so then I'm going to scroll down here, and uh, we got get is mouse locked, and I'm going to change the, and then on mouse lock toggled. Okay, so we're going to go down here, and we're going to say mouse lock changed event connect function, and we're going to say self on mouse lock toggled, and then we're going to say, uh, no. So when we toggle mouse lock, it's going to fire the toggle, and we're going to get the current mouse lock state when it changes. So we're going to say self get is mouse locked. Uh, and this is actually going to be the self dot mouse lock toggled event. And we're going to say EV mouse lock changed, and we're going to fire that with the state. Okay, so what's going to happen is when the module changes mouse lock state, we're going to fire this event. And when this event is received to toggle the mouse lock, we're going to perform the mouse lock toggle in this module. So then what we can do is we can just add a uh, screen GUI simple here, add a text button in the screen GUI, and I'll just put this right here. This can be anything. I'll add a local script under here. I'll say uh, I'll get those two events real quick and I'll say uh, script up parent activated connect EV toggle mouse lock fire and we'll say EV mouse lock changed event connect state and I'll type it as a boolean and I'll say if state then otherwise script up parent up text equals unlock it's locked. unlocked okay and the starting state here we can just set the text to be unlocked so now if we play and let me make sure i have my shift lock enabled yep if i click shift lock you'll see that when i'm locked it says locked when i'm unlocked it says unlocked i can click it and it'll say locked my mouse is locked you'll see that when we click it it says locked if we put if we toggle with the shift here it switches between locked and unlocked all right, guys, that's how you make a shift lock. Really quick, really simple tutorial. Uh, if you want to expand this, you can change the behavior for what happens when it's locked, unlocked. Um, if you want to make like a server event that locks all the cameras for all the players for some reason, you can do that and tie it into this uh, camera mouse lock controller module. Just add the event and then in here for the mouse lock controller new, uh, just say when the event happens to toggle the mouse lock, you could even pass in, update the mouse lock toggled function to pass in a state, and we could set the mouse lock state to that value. Um, so you could expand this further, but that's simply just how to get it started and how to really get going with this project. Thanks, guys.